Science fan addicts, Evan here, and this is Bark Hollywood! And gelatos with Daniel Radcliffe's Border Terrier Nugget, who gave me the scoop on Daniel's upcoming appearance on Broadway in How to Succeed in Business Without Really Trying, something we all specialize in here at the show. Now, for those of you wondering if Harry will once again be showing his paw <gasps> like he did in Equus, the answer is no! The clothes will be staying on this time, and thank God! Personally, boy wizards have never been my scene, plus I hate when teen stars try to shed their bubblegum image by doing something shocking. If you're starring in kids' movies, just keep your darn clothes on. Yeah. It's like Elizabeth Berkeley going all out in showgirls. Now I can't even bear to watch Saved by the Bell without having disturbing flashbacks. So Daniel, congrats for taking the classy route this time. Okay, what's up? And I'm surprised you're not Broadway bound kicking up those stupid little toothpick legs of yours in some damn canine chorus line. In time, I guess. Anyway, I promised my vet I'd stop getting so riled up about those Jersey Shore brats because of my, you know, skyrocketing blood pressure. Then I go and hear the next season these damn grease balls huh? are working in a smoothie shop in Miami Beach. Are you yanking my spit girl? You think I want those kids handling stuff I put in my body? Lord knows what they're doing back there behind the counter messing around with hair gel and tanning lotion and crap. Do I look like I need steroids in my banana strawberry smoothie? Mm -mm. I say keep these kids away from anything food related. They're making the country sick enough as it is with their damn shenanigans. Pizza baby, what you got? Sparky, can the sultry doggy mama Betty White get any hotter? La Bet is everywhere. And now Pink's, that delish LA hot dog eatery, even came up with the Betty. Naked in the City Dog, a hot dog in a bun with absolutely nothing on it. A portion of the profits will go to support Los Angeles Animal Shelters, which, by the way, was where Evan was from before being rescued. And kudos to sexy doggy mama Amanda Seyfried, finally a classy gal in Hollywood who's not afraid of a little PDA, public dog affection. I mean, look at her dog, Finn. That's more action than I've gotten in weeks. And what's with that catty kitty Kelly writing an unauthorized book about all? Oh, Ditty Ortega would like to buy all those talk show folks who banned her from their lineups a picture of my special mojitos. I mean, who's gonna trust a big mouth broad named Kitty anyway? Chief, you're up. Oh man, I got a freaking migraine from this next item, D. Cash strap, Nick Cage bought a nine foot pyramid shaped tomb what? so he could be buried in the city of New Orleans. Like he's freaking King Tut or something. It sits right there in the famous St. Louis Cemetery. I mean, just cause he's in the flick, National Treasure, which yeah, it has a freaking pyramid in the poster. What, now he thinks he's like a treasure or something? I mean, Marie Laveau, the world renowned high priestess of voodoo is buried in there. Trust me, I'm not gonna ruffle her feathers, but Raging Cajun? Huh? Hey, nice way to spend your coin, Cage. Jeez. Now, Pacino playing that there Dr. Death Kevorkian guy on HBO? See, that is a classy guy putting good town to use. I love Al and the way he can just chew up scenery in a roll. I mean, come on. I'm out of order. You're out of order. We're out of order. The whole damn system's out of order. Um, treat. Right. Anyway, Al is certainly one of our finest. Yeah. And every freaking time I see the guy, he always picks up the bar tab. Mainly because the expense account on this show is freaking non-existent. Okay, till next time, we're all ears, and this is Bark Hollywood. <laughs> you wanna shut your pie hole, beanhead? Come on, man. I'm, I'm living on fumes here.